Hello students, uh, now we will see 16 bit uh, multiplication as well as 16 bit division. Uh, before starting 16 bit multiplication code, let us see what this operation is going to do. I am going to multiply two 16 bit data. Can you see? I have taken first 16 bit data 0004 into a register AX and the second 16 bit data 0002 into a register BX. You know what is 0004 in binary. 0000 This is 0004 in hex. Okay, it is a 16 bit data. I am going to multiply a 16 bit data with one more 16 bit data. What is the next 16 bit data? 0002. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. 0002 and I want to store this result in the next consecutive location. What is the product of 4 into 2? 4 into 2, 8. This is the output I get. Okay. What is the output I will get? 0000 0000 0000 0000 1000 which is nothing but 8. 0008. Okay, so how we will start doing it is first we need to store the data. Where I am going to store the data? The first data is in AX, 0004 is in AX. You know AX is nothing but AL and AH. So AL holds 04, AL is a 8 bit register, AH is a 8 bit register, AL and AH if I combine it will form AX which is a 16 bit register. Okay, so 04, what is 04? This 8 bits will be stored in AL. Next 8 bits will be stored in AH. Together I call it as AX. So first what I am going to do, in 3030 location I am going to store the lower order. What is lower order? 04. So I am going to store the lower order in 3030. Next I am going to store the next higher order, 00 in 3031. This is my first data. Where is my second data? My second data is lower order 0, 2. I am going to store in here. 0, 0 I am going to store here. So, consecutively I am storing my first data and second data. Ensure that first you store lower order, then you store your higher order. Can you see lower order then? Okay. So, how will you store the result? Even result is stored like this. Uh, you know, uh, this is AL and AH. BX is 0002. So, this is stored in BL. This is stored in BH. If I perform step, multiply BX, it means AX will be automatically multiplied with BX. Result will be stored in AX. This is the syntax of multiplication. If I write the BX, it means automatically a content of AX will be divided by BX. Result will be stored in AX. Clear? So you need to write the BX. Here you need to write mul BX. If it is for division, the. If it is for multiplication, mul. Clear? So, this is about uh, the syntax for uh, multiplication and division. Let us see the program. So, what is my first uh, aim? Move 30, 30. 30, 30 is the location where you are holding your first data. So, move the starting address of your first data to a register source index SI. So, my source index SI will have the starting address of my first data. What is the second step? Go to the starting address 3030. Can you see? Move. In the brackets, I have SI. What is the value of SI? 3030. Go to the memory location 3030. Take the data 04. Move it to AX. So, what is AX? AX is AL and AH. When you execute this instruction, what happens? It goes to 3030 location. Take the first data 04, place it in AL. 
and it automatically increments take the second data from 3031 place it in ah so now ax is 0004 my first data 0004 is loaded in register ax now what i am going to do add si 0002 what is my si value 30 30 If I add zero 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 two to it, I get my uh, get the address where my second data is sitting. Can you see this? For this reason, I am doing this operation. So now what I will do? Move, go, move the data from the memory location pointed by SI. What is SI value now? Thirty thirty two. So go to thirty thirty two. Take the data. Move it to which uh, register B X. Now you know B X is nothing but B H and B L. Whatever data is sitting in thirty thirty two, the first data will go to B L. It automatically increments. The second data will go and sit in B H. Now my first. Now what is there in B X? B X is holding my second data, which is nothing but zero 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 two. Now what I need to do? I need to multiply A X and B X. So what is the syntax for multiplication? Mul B X. If I write mul B X, automatically content of A X will be multiplied with content of B X. Result will be stored in A X. Now who is holding the result? A X is holding the result. What is the result? Zero zero zero. Eight four into two zero 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 eight. Now in zero 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 eight, A L is loading zero eight. A H is loaded with zero zero. Now I want to store this in the memory location. Which location I need to store? Thirty thirty four. I need to store. So what is my current S I value? Current S I value is three zero three two. To this I need to add zero 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 two so that I get my Thirty thirty four location. So after getting thirty thirty four location, move the con result, whatever the result you have in A X zero 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 eight, which is in A X, to memory location pointed by S yes, I. Okay. So what is current S I value three zero three four? So in three zero three four, the result zero 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 eight will set. What will sit in uh, first? What data will sit first? Lower order zero eight will sit in thirty thirty four. Next higher order zero zero will sit in thirty thirty five. This is the result of product of or multiplication of first data and second data. You need to understand first lower order will sit and then your higher order. Finally, close the program with interrupt zero three. Int zero three is used to stop the program, call the program, and then come out of the loop. So this is the code for sixteen bit multiplication. If you want to do sixteen bit division in this particular place, you need to change instead of mul, change it to div. Okay, that is the only change you need to do for this operation. Okay students thank you